In this video, we'll overview how to set up a retention policy in MSP360 Managed Backup Service. This policy determines how many data versions are going to be kept and for how long. The default retention policy can be applied to any number of plans and, if you need specific settings, you can customize the retention policy within a plan. To change the default settings for an endpoint, proceed to the Remote Management section, find the endpoint needed, then click the gear icon. In the drop-down menu, choose Edit and then Edit Options. In the window that appears, click the arrow near Retention Policy. You'll see a list of options that work for all the plans if you don't switch to custom ones. If you want to pay less for the storage space and don't need to keep data for a long time, Click Delete Versions Older Than and specify File Version Age, which can be counted from the backup or modification dates. Older files will be deleted. This can't be undone, so it is highly recommended to enable the Always Keep the Last Version option. Next, specify how many versions of files or images you need to store. You can also switch on the Delay Purge option. Then you will have time to check how many files are going to be deleted and restore them if you want. The History Retention Policy option helps you to track the backup process in detail. Go to the History tab of the appropriate backup agent and check what happened to every single file or image component. Specify when to delete records if needed. The default options apply to all the plans, with just one exception. If an option exists in defaults and is missing in the plan preferences, it doesn't work for this plan. If you want to set up a retention policy on a company level, consider utilizing the Remote Deploy option. There, you can create a configuration and apply it to all the computers needed. If you want to create a plan with specific options, click Specify Custom Retention Policy for Backup Plan. Further, we'll cover only plan-specific properties as others are similar to the defaults. If you choose a file-level backup, you can specify what to do with the files that have been deleted on the user's machine. You can remove them from storage as well, after a number of days which you can set here. In the image-based backup, a version is more of a restore point for the endpoint. The data version in the image-based backup can be a full backup and a respective block-level one. For example, if you select to keep three versions, that will be one full backup and two block-level ones. Bear in mind that a block-level backup cannot be deleted without performing a subsequent full backup. Also, there is no delay purge option. For SQL Server Backup, a version is a full backup with all its dependencies, such as differential and transaction log backup. So, if a version is deleted, all its dependencies are deleted too. When you choose how many versions to keep, bear in mind that these versions are stored along with all their follow-ups. When backing up Microsoft Exchange, a version is considered to be a chain of full backup plus block-level backups. So, in the event of deletion, this whole chain gets removed. For virtual machines, everything works similarly to the image-based backup. A version is also a restore point, and it can be a full backup or a block-level one. The only difference is the opportunity to delay purge. In the case of EC2 instance backup, a version is a snapshot of your virtual machine that emerges when you successfully run the EC2 backup plan. You can choose EBS for this. That's an analog of a drive. You can also set the AMI option, which allows you to take a snapshot of an image that can be used to start a new EC2. Here, each snapshot is also called a version. Managed Backup Service is a solution that has the appropriate options for any type of backup. You can set up the retention policy for all the plans or define a specific policy for each of the plans. It all depends on the needs of your clients, and knowing this, we do our best to offer you the most flexibility and usability. Please contact our pre-sales team if you have any questions.